that's a preview. Well, here we go again, folks. It's formal. We like to think of it as not having a great barrier between you and the performers. So come up and talk to them when they have a moment. Say hi, get to know them a little better. Alan Block on the fiddle and the banjo, and Martha Burns on the guitar, and they'll both sing for you. So here they go. Good to see a lot of faces out there, and get close to it. Good to see familiar faces as well. I wonder if some of you have been sitting there for 12 months. Uh, <laughs> no, I guess you must have gone home in the meantime. Some people seem to be in the same position as they were uh, just about a year ago when George Wilson and I played. Could it be? No. All right. Good Especially Jim Spaulding. He's he's one of the one of the greats. Okay, here we go. We're going to play some... We'll talk about each tune as we play it. Uh, mostly American tunes, of maybe a couple of Canadian tunes, but I met Martha many years ago and didn't really... N just bumped into her, sort of, and uh, people s kept telling me, you've got to meet Martha Burns. And it's... It We'll tell you a funny story later on how <laughs> we were neighbors for years in New York City, but in New York City you never know your neighbors. That's true. So we didn't know we were neighbors until many years later. Uh, and mm -hmm. then we started uh, just... <laughs> has such a wonderful pace to it. Yellow Barber. Yeah, Yellow Barber. If anybody knows what it means, please tell me. Alan, you know where she'd get the haircut? Oh, are we going to get into this now? <laughs> no, I don't know, Martha. Where sheep get their haircut? The Baba Shop. Baba Shop. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Maybe that'll be the last of them. How uh -huh. about Red Mountain Wine? <laughs> yeah, I'd like to do that one. Let's do that. Should we jump to A? This tune is uh, a very early vintage from a southern family called the Kimball family. And I think they recorded it uh, on one of the er early uh, country labels. And uh, th they sort of took possession of the song and made it their own. And uh, I think they heard it off the radio in the beginning. This is the story I heard. And then uh, they took it over and made it their own, a Kimball family from Virginia. So, Red Mountain Wine. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> ain't got no money, ain't got no home, 
ain't got nobody to call all my own. I'm satisfied with nothing to do but bum for a dime for some red mountain wine. Some people see me and some people don't. Some women love me and some women don't. I'm satisfied with nothing to do but bump for dime for some red mountain wine. I was born in Texas, then raised in Tennessee. Got a boxcar in Virginia, that jail in Milwaukee. I'm satisfied with nothing to do but come for a dime for some Red Mountain one. Nothing could do but bump for a dime for some red mountain wine. I ain't got no money, I ain't got no home, I ain't got nobody to call all my own. I'm satisfied with nothing to do but bump for a dime for some red mountain wine. That's what you might call a, a song that would have been on the hit parade oh, back in maybe the late 20s or early 30s had there been a hit parade. I really mm -hmm. think it's a, a very beautiful tune. Maybe and if we sing it enough, it, it will get there still. Uh, we'd have to get the right ties with the right people, Mark. <laughs> it's true. No, I think so. And some drums. Yeah. Well, who, you can't tell. There might be somebody out there right now connected with... Columbia, or I really yeah. don't know anything about recording at all. No, and I, I think it has to be on a um, what they call those new records. I've forgotten. Discs. Yeah, discs. Compact discs. Compact discs. Yeah. Yeah, we won't worry about that. <laughs> <coughs> anyway, um, now we're going to do another old song called "Handsome Molly." Oh yes. Mostly, most of the songs we do are pretty old, as it turns out. And uh, this is one of the older ones. This one you find in versions all over the world in strange ways, and this is the way we learned it. I don't believe there's any sheet music for this tune. Probably not. Too old. Yeah. Was it English originally? I think so. Yeah, it's it London. Yeah. It mentions London. Yeah. Okay. We're going to try to sing it nice and listen to the words. Oh, mm. okay. Listen to the words. They're very interesting. Yeah. We'll try to s sing them sing them clearly. Hmm. That that wasn't the first line. Now that was the first word. I wish I was in London or, or some other seaport town. I'd sit my foot, foot in a steamboat and sail the ocean around. It's sailing around the ocean sailing around the sea. I'd think of Prince and Molly wherever she might be. Thank you. 
you remember, Molly, when you gave me your right hand? And you said if you ever married that I would be the man. It's sailing around the ocean, it's sailing around the sea. I think of Vince and Molly, wherever she might be. going to turn to a song that I've just learned and I've just <laughs> hope, hope that uh, Martha had heard it and she said she had heard it and we're going to try it. It's called Calico and it's from Bruce Green. He is a uh, Kentucky fiddler who keeps mostly out of sight but he's uh, currently in r rather famous among fiddlers. He's a fiddler's fiddler and knows a lot of uh, unusual songs that he's collected. He's a young man and he welcomes people to his home but he almost never goes out of his home. Now, I don't know what he does for a living. It always puzzles me what people do for a living. It is? Yeah. Anyway, when I first heard this, this I, I heard it as a tune. And Alan surprised me by telling me there are words to it, and they're wonderful words. It really, you can understand why it's called calico now. Seeing as it comes from Bruce Green, it makes me wonder whether it's green calico, too. <laughs> <laughs> but Bruce Green really is something. I think he's a folklorist, Alan. Or he is a folklorist, but I think he's a folklorist for a living, which is something, especially in this world today. Okay. You look like you're about ready for compact discs. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you chew gum, though? <coughs> now, if you'd like to sing along, I think this would be a very nice song to sing, uh, sing with. It's, uh, the chorus goes, Calico, calico, I bought my wife a little calico. Calico, calico, bought my wife a little calico. Now try that, and then we'll go right into this song from there. Calico, calico, I bought my wife a little calico. And then again, the same set of lyrics. Calico, calico, bought my wife a little calico. Calico, calico, bought my wife a little calico. I was young and I had no sense. I bought my fiddle for 15 cents. Hold the fiddle and sold the bow. Bought my wife a little calico. Calico, calico. I bought my wife a little calico. Calico, calico. Bought my wife a little calico.
she won't wear cotton and she won't wear toe. All she'll wear is calico. Cotton and she won't wear toe. All she'll wear is calico. It's calico, calico. I bought my wife a little calico. Calico, calico. I bought my wife a little calico. Corncob fiddle and a shoestring bow, bought my wife a little calico. Corncob fiddle and a shoestring bow, bought my wife a little calico. Calico, calico, bought my wife a little calico. Calico, calico, bought my wife a little calico. When I was young and I had no sense, bought me a fiddle for fifty cents. Sold the fiddle and sold the bow, bought my wife a little calico. Now calico, calico, I bought my wife a little calico. Calico, calico, bought my wife a little calico. I'm a great f a fan of those rather slow uh, singing songs, sl slow enough so you can hear all the words. That's one of my, mm. yeah. I insist on, <laughs> on that because I don't like to hear garbled words. If you're going to sing, my heaven, you should be able to be heard. Well, we've got one of those now. We've got Railroading and the Great Divide. Oh, let's do that one, Martha. Okay, you know, we haven't done I this for a while. I haven't done that in quite some time. Is that Red Zinger by any chance? Oh, no, the reason I say that is because I smell red zinger and I can't figure it out. Anybody else smell red zinger? It must just be me. This is a, a song that talks about uh, building the railroad over the Great Divide in the Rockies, which must have been hard work, but at the same time must have been a nice working place. <laughs> Better than a lot of offices. And, and uh, where about the Great Divide? It's in the Rocky Mountains. It's uh -huh. where the you know it's where the water on the one side it flows into the Pacific. Oh. And on the other side it'll flow theoretically into the Atlantic, <laughs> but I think they mean the Atlantic side. It has to cross the Mississippi though first. <laughs> yeah, it probably goes at a slow crawl. <laughs> anyway. Okay. All set, Alan? No, I'm set. Are you? Okay. I'm going to listen for a little while to pick it up. 19 and 16, I started to roam out in the west. No money, no home. I started all along with the tide and land.
Another pretty tune. Yeah. These tunes that we picked tonight are, are, are rather on the, on the uh, easy side. They're sweet fiddling, I hope. I hope you think it's sweet. Uh, we could play some fast hoedowns, and maybe we will get to one if we Next get set, our yeah. clogger comes up with a pair of shoes. <laughs> that'll be <laughs> impromptu. Pair of shoes for her. <coughs> if, if anybody has a pair of shoes size, what is it? Yeah, what's Six? your size? <laughs> five and a half. About five and a half, she said. Well, you could could it go to six? Five and a half would be ideal if you have a pair of shoes that would fit this young lady. Could you stuff some toilet paper in the toes or something too? All right, so it could be a little Seven. bit bigger than five and a half, <laughs> but no smaller. That that would be torture. Okay, this is big Sciota. A big Sciota, or Sciote, some people call it. That's a river. A lot of fiddle tunes are named after uh, natural formations, like rivers and mountains and streams and so forth. And some are named after ladies and men and events. Not too slow now, Mark. We'll just kick this one off kind of nice.
Like that? Mm. This is a contrast, another fiddle tune fast in a different key. It's a Canadian tune, a Canadian tune called the Bay of Fundy. I'm going to play a banjo piece, but sort of to get psyched up for it, I have to tell you a little story. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, this fellow called the Arkansas Traveler, he went down to, uh, with his uh, Naga uh, tape recorder to get some music from some, some southern people. And he went way down to Arkansas, and of course he, uh, he t took his car as far as he could get along the r roads, and uh, then he had to get out and walk because the road he couldn't no longer pass. And so he took it up to the mountain and, and he walked a long ways and finally came to a, an old log cabin and there sitting a man, uh, a farmer man, he was playing his fiddle and he thought, oh, this is great. So uh, he, he, he coaxed the man to play a little fiddle and he taped it and then he said, I'd like to look around a little bit, would you mind? And the old man said, go right ahead. So he went up and he said, went up into the fields and Sure enough, there were cattle up there. Then he noticed something very strange. There were deer also up there, feeding right along with the cattle, grazing right along with the cattle, and the deer didn't have any eyes. And he, well, he, he said, took, put a little note in his notebook, uh, deers, deer without eyes, grazing right along with the cows. So he went down, uh, and he, he confronted the man who was still sitting playing on the porch. He said, he says, you know, old man, what you got up there? And he says, no idea. That was quite a groan. <coughs> Got a pretty high ceiling out there, yeah. so I, but I heard it anyway. That's a new one too. Yeah. yeah. Well, what are we going to do, Martha? Well, I think you're going to pull out your old banjo, oh, well, aren't right. you? Yeah. We started playing this one night when we we were playing at a place called John Henry's Hammer, and we thought we have to play John Henry. And we've been Actually, we haven't played it that often since then, have we? But every time, it's always a lot of fun. Mm. I just love to play the banjo, but I have to get warmed up on it. So you'll, I haven't really warmed up on it today, but you'll forgive me. My fingers are sticky, too. This is a, a, a version that I, I think I learned from uh, a record with Fred Cochram on it. Fred Cochram was a wonderful banjo player. 
from uh, Virginia. Played with Wade Ward, who is also a wonderful banjo player. They both played fiddle, too. All right, we'll see what we can do with this. <laughs> get around to another banjo piece later. <coughs> right now, I, th I think our music is driving off the mosquitoes. I don't see a single one. Strange, isn't it? It really is strange. Or perhaps there's an ordinance. Is there an ordinance uh, against that sort of thing in this town? Yeah, it's the, it's the New Hampshire state bird, but it's not in Vermont, is it? The, is it the, isn't it? The mosquito is the New Hampshire state bird. Yeah. I just learned. That's what I've been told. Yeah. There's some very fine musicians here. I can see them out in the audience. I see David Kaner, I see Dito Norris, and uh, I'm sure there's there are others, but uh, those two stand out. And thank you all for coming. Even though they're sitting down. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I hope we touch your hearts somewhere along the line. Yeah. Martha made up the program, so I'm complete, completely at your mercy, Martha. What have you got in mind? Well, you, you just read the list. Uh, oh, oh, okay, the next one, the next one well, is self-explanatory. It's all about mosquitoes. <laughs> yeah, that's right, it is, isn't it? I don't know where this song came from. I think the New Lost City Ramblers recorded it. But where it came from, I don't know. No, it's a very strange song. <laughs> suckers being mosquitoes oh no no we're doing this one. Oh, we're doing that one this yeah. is about mosquitoes mm -hmm. yeah well martha you launch right into it and i'll follow okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is called ain't no bugs on me i thought you were talking about the other one alan all right <laughs> There ain't no bugs on me, there ain't no bugs on me, there may be bugs on some of you bugs, but there ain't no bugs on me. Bugs on me, there ain't no bugs on me, maybe bugs 
on me, but there ain't no bugs on me. on some of you chicks, but there are no... Could be. It's a little yeah. late for that, though. Um, down? Oh, it's all right? Without it? No, no. That's just an inch or two. Oh. Okay. Don't forget to take a break. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. We haven't earned it yet. I know that. Mm-hmm. Well, I think we'll do two or three more things, and then we'll take a little break. Yeah, we have to do a second set. Um... This, this is the song that's got suckers in it, Alan. Oh, Deadheads and Suckers. Yeah. Now, this, this may sound like a strange song, but then again, there's, there's nothing that we play and sing that isn't a little bit uh, odd, I think. <laughs> there's some wonderful love songs, and they're pretty straight, but you, you have to wonder how these songs were written and why, and, and associate them with certain periods in American history. Uh, Deadheads and Suckers. Uh, there's definitely an element of anger uh, of the of uh, working crews uh, against the the the, the straw bosses. That's well, you know, the the lieutenant, the guy that, that whips him into line but doesn't do any work at all. Uh, on railroad gangs, there were such men, and in factories, there were such men and men. They beat they beat up on you if you if you weren't doing what you were supposed to be doing. They still do it in subtler ways, but back then, uh, there was no question. Deadheads and suckers, I'm sure that's what it means. So you'll follow the words and see what, uh, whether you think that's what it means.
my sheriff and police coming after me, coming after me, darling, coming after me. The high sheriff and police coming after me, darling, I don't know what to do. Outshines the sun, darling, outshines the sun. A light in the graveyard, outshines the sun. Darling, I don't know what to do. Join us in this one. Dead heads and suckers, how can you live? How can you live? Tell me, how can you live? Don't you wanna go? Don't you wanna go, darling? Don't you wanna go? Mighty happy meeting. Don't you wanna go? Yes, we all wanna go. Last time through. Dead hands and suckers. How can you live? How can you live? Tell me how can. breakdown of sorts and then we're going to take a little break and be back shortly. Um, you yeah, uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You can do a four part Billy Wilson. The fourth part is Okay, this is just a fiddle tune without words. You won't have to listen to this one so. <laughs> It's a combination of uh, little, little Billy Wilson and uh, uh, let's see, Wake Up Susie, Wake Up Susie. Thank you. 
a very short break because we want to finish before the sun goes down. A short break now. If anybody's interested in records, come and talk to me. I've got piles and piles of them here. I sell them for six dollars a copy, which is a lot less than you'd pay. Now records like this are selling for $8.95 retail. So come and look at them. No obligation if you don't want it. And if you want it, and I'm not around, just lay six, six bucks on top of the box. They're here. Yeah, well, this isn't necessarily or the order either. Oh. Uh huh. Okay. Well, let's let me do going around this road. Maybe mine first. Okay. I'll pick up the banjo for the first tune. This will be. Right. Going around this world, baby mine. Tune, Michael. Here's, a, here's another tune you can sing with us. Going around this world, baby mine. In fact, that's just about all you have to sing. You sing that three times. You sing going around this world, baby mine. Going, going around this world with a banjo picking girl. Going around this world, baby, baby mine. mine. So the chorus will go. Still not in tune, just hold on. You know, it's humidity, isn't it? The humidity I think it's is the hum what. The uh, humility is very high tonight. That's right. That's, that, that's right. We're very humble people. Got any more jokes, Martha? I know, you know, I was just trying to think. Tell the one about the boomerang. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, except you just. <laughs> oh, Lord. No. You, you just ruined my no, joke. I didn't. I didn't. Well, I didn't. yeah, you did, Alan. You I ruined learned, my all joke. All right, if you won't tell you it, Martha, my... I'll tell it. Okay. What do you call a boomerang that won't come back? Yeah, that is how it goes, isn't it? That's right. I don't know. What do you call a boomerang? Martha, you know. <laughs> What's it called? Uh, uh, a boomerang that won't come back. Uh, uh, a stick? That's right. It's called a stick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Going around this world, baby mine. Um. Yeah, that, that, that string was a little sharp. This is for Peter and Mary, and Mary, Mary Alice, Mary Alice Amidon. This is de dedicated to this fine couple who are right out in front. Mary, where'd they go? Are they really right out? Mary oh Alice yeah, there is right they are. Over there, and, and there they are. There's Peter. Cross this ocean, baby mine. Yeah. I'm going across this ocean, baby mine. I'm going across this ocean if I 
Everything we sing is nice. It is, isn't it? If we yeah. do say so ourselves. There's nothing crude or disgusting. We sing beautiful songs. We only sing those at parties. <laughs> the crude and disgusting songs. Only after songs. midnight. <laughs> only after midnight. Yeah. This, uh, this has a line in it about the coat of many colors that, that Jacob wore, but Jacob didn't wear the coat of many colors, did he? It was Joseph. That's always puzzled me about this song. I'll have to look that up. Well, I'm, I'm sure it's like poetic license, it'll work. Okay, I'll, <laughs> I'll sing it that way and cross my fingers, though. Okay. When first to this country a stranger I came and I courted a fair maid, Nancy was her name. Now I courted her for love, but her love I couldn't obtain. Do you think I have any reason or right to complain? I 
Let me on right me. Another one you can sort of sing along. It's a it's a funny song. It's called "I'm Free as Little Bird as I Can Be," and this is what you sing: "I'm free a little bird as I can be. I'm free a little bird as I can be. I'm free at my age as a bird in the cage. I'm as free a little bird as I can be." And it was I learned it from Clarence Ashley's record. Actually, I met him in person. He's one of the few old timers that I actually knew. And he was a wonderful influence. And he was a very, very uh, helpful person. He loved to help young people who were just starting, which I was, which I am. <laughs> I'm a young person and I'm just starting. To my country, uh, this country you did so beautifully. I'd just like to ask you to do another one, like maybe the storms are on the ocean. I was going to ask you to do Magnolia Rag, even though it's not on your Watchmahoosie the there. One? Mi Miniola one. Oh, rag. all right. Would you do that? It, yeah. I'll, okay. We'll do a trade-off. You do the uh, storms are on the ocean. I'll do the Miniola Rag. Okay. Okay. You do all your right. Miniola Rag first, and then I. Miniola come. Rag first. Okay. This is this was done by the East Sec. East Texas Serenaders recorded many, many years ago. Uh, I don't. I think maybe, maybe some of them are still alive because it was a rather large band. But did they played many wonderful rags. Did anybody happen to see Alan's of my picture in a paper around here or anything? Is that, did anybody see that? No. Nobody saw our picture. If you happen to see that picture, this is the tune we were playing when that picture was taken. Very, a very important, a minor point, but of great importance. Yeah, I wouldn't leave it out. Yeah. Here we go, Miniola Rag. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you. Now the other half of this trade. Okay. <laughs> That's right. You know, we're doing a lot of songs about the sea. This is uh, storms around yeah. the ocean, and we did going across the. Uh, oh, the Great Divide. Or, no, going. Uh, oh, going across. <laughs> or, going across the no, sea. going across the. We did Hans and Molly. That was right. Uh, oh well. How is it like that we've done a lot. so many sea songs are written by people who live very far inland? I don't know. You know, this one has the addition of being in the key of C, also. Oh, so, I didn't realize that. Yeah. But anyhow, I'll try it. You know, C is not an easy uh, key for fiddlers to play in. And yet you've mastered it. Oh, no, I haven't mastered it. Yes, you have. No, I've just I've just touched the surface. You're, you're too humble, Alan. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Storms are on the ocean. Carter family song. I'm going away to leave you, love. And I'm going away for a while. But I'll return to you sometime if I go 10,000 miles. The storms are on the ocean. The heavens may cease to be. Yeah. 
heavens may cease to be, this world may lose its motion, love, if I prove false to thee. We've got three requests, and I think we want to get at least two of them in here. Before dark. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. One was uh, one I, I requested Martha to sing co the Cotton Mill Girls. So I've never heard it, but I'm going to try to, I'm going to listen real close and then try to fit a, a <laughs> fiddle part to it. It's called playing, All right, sure. playing okay. by, uh, did you ever get your shoes? 
You'd have to dance barefooted? You want to dance barefoot? That's all right. Uh, I should have. Sure. Let's just play a little of that last tune, Rocky. Uh, okay, sure. Come on up. Come on up. <laughs> Maybe you'll get a contribution of shoes, too. Can you do it on the porch for people to see you better? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> now let me think. Let's, let's play uh, 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 Mississippi Sawyer. Okay. <laughs> Phelps, give her another hand. <laughs> that was great. A nice. We're now, we're now nearing the end, <clears throat> but I wanted right. to be sure Ruthie got her dance in. Try the cotton reel, girls. Do you want to? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what Alan happens. Alan and I here. are doing some experimenting tonight. Yeah. Um, it, not at your expense, I hope. It's not at your expense. As a matter of fact, I think that that we're coming up with some nice things here. You can say that you were first to hear them. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. these clouds are getting a little thick, well. They are. All right, well, let's happens. just do it then. Mm -hmm. This is, a, there's all these cotton mills around here, around Lowell and all that, but this is actually about um, uh, cotton mills down south, as it turns out. And there, it has a little chorus, which Alan's going to help me with, too. He doesn't know it yet, but <laughs> it goes, hard times, cotton mill girls, hard times, cotton mill girls. Hard times, cotton mill girls, hard times everywhere. So all you have to remember is the hard times, cotton mill girls, and you say that three times, and then hard times everywhere. Uh -huh. well, Got it, Alan? <laughs> well, I have to listen to you do it first, and then okay. I'll come in. Now, I've worked in cotton mill all my life, and ain't got nothing for borrowing knife. It's hard times, cotton mill girls, hard, hard times time. everywhere. Hard times, cotton mill girls, hard times, cotton mill girls, hard times, cotton mill girls, 
fantastic. I think that's a keeper. Uh, uh -huh, we'll do that. <laughs> now we've been asked to play Money Musk. Oh, yeah. Now that one we love to play. Right. Any old time. Let's play Money Musk. And then, not last but not least, uh, a request from Jim for Spaulding going for going the across sea. the sea. Yeah, see, now there's a C then, tune, then, only it's not C, but it's a C tune. So you can squeeze two more tunes out of us, and we'll, we'll love to do them. Maybe more. This is one time was uh, was was thought to be the hardest tune that fiddler could play. This money musk, and, and it was hard for me, but it isn't hard anymore, because I've been playing it now for dances for a good good going on 20 years. So this is about the state that that I have it in right now. <laughs> Key of A for all you fiddlers out there, and I'm sure you all play the fiddle. A? Across the Sea has one rough line in it, <clears throat> and I, d I don't know about singing that line. I think the song wouldn't be complete without, I'll, I'll tell you what it is. Going across the sea, going across the sea, I don't give a damn for no damn gal who don't give a damn for me. Alan. <clears throat> well, that is, you can't very well, uh, can't very well change that line. That, that's the way it goes. You, could say, you could say darn. No, I, darn is it doesn't have the, the pungency. So it really isn't that bad when you're singing it. It fits into the tune. Going across the sea, I'm going across the sea. I don't give a damn for no damn girl. Don't give a damn for me. I bought myself a banjo, strung it up with twine. The only song they hit would play was trouble on my mind. I'm a going across the sea, I'm going across the sea. Or oh, don't give a damn for no damn gal, don't give a damn for me. It's a train on the island, hear that whistle blow. Don't tell my true love I'm sick and I can't go. I'm going across the sea, I'm going across the sea. I don't give a damn for no damn gal, don't give a damn for me. Love we fell out, maybe 
it for the best. I'm going across the sea, going across the sea. And I don't give a damn for no damn girl, I don't give a damn for me. summer and Cindy in the fall. If I can't get that Cindy girl, I want no girl at all. I'm going across the sea, going across the sea, and don't give a damn for no damn girl, don't give a damn for me. Used to have an old hound dog, I wish they'd bring him back. He chased big hogs over the fence and the little ones through the crack. I'm going across the sea, I'm going across the sea, and I don't give a damn for no damn girl, don't give a damn for me. Used to have an old hound dog, I wish they'd bring him back. He chased the big hogs over the fence and the little ones through the crack. It's a nice verse. Wished I had a needle and thread. Fine as I could sew, I'd sew the girls to my coattails and down the road we go. I'm going across the sea, I'm going across the sea, and I don't give a damn for no damn girl, don't give a damn for me. What? St. Anne? St. Anne? St. Anne's real? Okay, why don't we call it the... Let's do a waltz. We haven't done a waltz, yeah. and that would probably... How about a waltz? Would you settle Can for we, a waltz? Would you settle for a waltz? We'll, we'll play St. Anne's over here. I think we're going to close on this waltz right now, because it's getting dark, and I just yeah. got a mosquito bite. Uh -huh. It's harder on us, because, you see, the thing is, when you're playing an instrument, first of all, the... Have you ever noticed that... You, when you play these outdoor concerts, the the mosquitoes like the light, so we get more of them than you do. And then they come and they light on you, and you're playing a song, and you can't do a thing about it. Yeah. You just see them sitting there. Well, I haven't had any. Ooh. I've had haven't had any sit on me at all. I know. I'm just thinking about because it because of that ordinance. Yeah, I, I guess yeah. that's true. You see, I mean, it's got me scratching my feet just the thought of it. How about uh? Yeah, beautiful waltz now. The mosquito waltz. I'll play it, but I don't know the name of it. Not till I finish. Cowboy waltz? Is that what you're thinking of? No. Oh, you're thinking of Midnight on the oh, water. Oh, yeah. I Cowboy Waltz. Almost wore my flannel cowboy shirt, too. Must have known.
do that second part again. Okay, since nobody has gotten up yet to leave precipitously. <laughs> what do we got we'll, in mind, Helen? We'll <laughs> do the St. Anne's. That's do a good Saint idea. Anne's. That's a very nice one. To okay, end and then thank you very much for having us. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. If anybody's still interested in records, I'll be here for quite a while wrapping up. So do you have any Beatles I records in there? Or? Do you have any Beatles records in there? No Beatles at all. No? Besides, if I did, I'd sell them for double the price. <laughs> They're worth a lot more. Oh, are they? I'm going to take this out of the way. Now, i got plenty of room. I'd like, to in, I'd like to let you know about a wonderful festival that's coming up. It's called the Champlain Valley uh, Folk Festival, and it's in Ferrisburg, uh, Vermont, at the Kingsland State Park, August 2nd and 3rd. There's a tremendous lineup of wonderful performers and craftsmen, and uh, I know it's going to be well attended, and they need, it's still, the, yes, we're going to be there. Uh, and I'll be doing some workshops, and uh, one and called Beginning Fiddle, which I don't know what's going to happen at that. I hope a lot of people bring fiddles. But uh, it's, it starts, I think, 10 in the morning, and it goes till late at night on both days, Saturday and Sunday, August 2nd and 3rd, at Kingsland State Park uh, in Ferrisburg, Vermont, which is not far from Burlington. Come one, come all. It's going to be a wonderful festival. Canadians galore. And New England music, a lot of it, a little bit of Southern music like us, and a lot of mixed bag. Wonderful singers, dancers, great, great dancers. Okay, see you later. Alan Block and Martha Burns. There they are, folks. Come up and say hi to them. Take home a record. Alan's got a few for sale. It's kind of hard to find a $6 LP these days, and there's a couple of them right there for you. Thank you all for coming. See you again next week if you can make it. Remember, if we have rain at any time, come and check. If we're not here, we'll be down the street at the Gibson Aiken Center Wednesday nights during the month of July. Next week, George Wilson and the Whippersnappers. See you then.
you can duplicate Yeah, but, but you don't. Yeah, but you got to make an audio first. Audio kick yeah. yeah. This is your time. Well, uh, well, yeah, but, yeah, but how, how are you going to put it on? What do you mean you want to set up the mic? Just an audio Yeah. I kind of feel it. It's not too hard Electronically or through the air? Yeah. I'll see you first. All right. Good. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I got you.